And after disappearing for a little bit, an iconic site outside the American Visionary Art Museum is back. Yeah, Marty Bass is live outside the museum to explain this morning. Hey there, Marty. Well, hey, Cena. Hey, uh, Meg and Tim, and good morning, everyone. How are you? Rebecca Hoffberger, the director of the American Visionary Art Museum, senior art handler, Bob Little. You oversaw the, what are we calling this? The restoration of the whirly gig. Mm -hmm. It's a kinetic sculpture. I ask, what does whirly gig mean? Well, it's a catch all name for these uh, wonderful swirling, turning contraptions that Ballas would build that would catch the wind, and they're covered with reflectors and so it's a little quiet today, but when the winds blow and it's just full of motion. It's a kinetic sculpture, and Bala Simpson, of course, was the artist. Um, Rebecca, how long has this been a fixture of the Baltimore skyline? Oh, it got Baltimore's most beloved piece since before we opened. It was installed uh, before 1995 summer so that we can enjoy it today, three decades almost. And it sits out here and endures the elements every day. Yep. Hanson had to disappear, get reconditioned and come back. And that's its own story, which we will be talking about when we return here to Key Highway in the American Visionary Art Museum. This is going to be epic. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> I feel like that whirly gig is going to be moving a lot later on this afternoon. 